So two very important formulas in maths, which you must know by heart. So if someone gives you the circumference of a circle, so imagine that the, the, uh, the distance around the outside, the circumference, is 10 centimetres, you can work backwards to find the radius of a, uh, of a circle. So in this case, because we're talking about the, the, the circumference, we're talking about the distance around the outside, you have to use a circumference formula. So use this formula. Uh, uh, because you know the circumference is 10, you can put the 10 into the C. So that would be C equals, well, you know C is 10. So put, it into the, put the 10 into the C equals 2 pi R. And your job is to work out the radius. Your job is to get R on its own. So divide both sides by 2 pi. So that would be 10 over 2 pi. Uh, that would be your radius. You can simplify this. This is the same as, um, well, divide top and bottom by 2. So 10 divided by 2 would be 5. Uh, 2 pi divided by 2, that's actually pi. So the radius is 5 over, uh, 5 over pi. Now, for this one here, you're told that the area is 100 centimeters squared. So this whole area is 100. So you put the... You, um, you put the 100 into the area formula, not the circumference formula, the area formula. So put the 100 into the A, so that would be 100 equals, um, equals pi r squared. Now, uh, you, need to, you want to get r on its own, so divide both sides by pi. So that, that would be 100 over pi equals r squared. And then from here, from here, you would then, you would then square root both sides to get R on its own. Square root the right hand side. That would be R. Square root this. Well, let's let's just carry this, carry this here, and then square root it. So you're square rooting it. So so from here, you square root the right hand side. That will give you R. And I don't know what this thing is. I'm just going to square root the whole thing. So the radius is given by this. You can just leave as this, or you can jump to a calculator and punch it in punch it in, okay?